It's your pot. Heat it up. We're going to put that on about a medium heat. We want to gradually heat up about a gallon of peanut oil to about 375 degrees. Over here, I have about two to three pounds of fresh fish. I went ahead and sliced them up so that they're good hand-sized pieces. You want to make sure you pat these down with some paper towels. In a small container, I'm mixing two tablespoons of hot sauce and two tablespoons of mustard. I'm going to brush this over my fish. And there we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and coat this fish in two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to throw them all in there. So we got them all in. I shake them up. Flip it over. And there we go. I got two eggs here that I'm going to scramble up, and then I'm going to pretty much paint them over the fish that I have battered with this flour. That's it right there. Okay, over here I have two cups of yellow cornmeal. Pretty much what you would use for making cornbread. We're going to add three tablespoons of seasoning. All your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning. Adding one half tablespoon of salt, just for a little more flavor, not the extra spice. And one half tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm going to mix that together. Okay, as that temperature is getting close to that 375 mark, that's when you start battering up your fish in this cornmeal, because it's very crucial that you batter quick and fry quick for that nice, crispy texture. Get that top on and shake it up. Flip it over. Oh, make a mess. There you go, your fish is battered. We hit that 375, so now we start dropping in our fish. We're gonna let this fry up for about six to eight minutes. At a certain point, you start touching them with a metal spatula and you can feel that crispy texture. That's when you know they're done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is some beautiful fried fish. Let's see. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Some fried fish. I got a little plate here because I got some fries going back here. I'm gonna make me a bigger plate, but figure I'd uh, pop one open for you guys. Like so. I know you wanna see this. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that is hot. <laughs> it's still hot. Fresh out of that fry, man. I wanna burn my tongue. Mmm, so tender, so good. That mustard and hot sauce, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do a whole lot as far as making it over powerful with spice and tanginess. It just does enough to kind of, uh, you know, take out that fishiness. Really all that seasoning in the batter later on with the uh, paya seasoning, the salt, the garlic powder, that helps bring some flavor to this. Of course, I like to dip mine some ketchup or even tartar sauce, and that's where you're really gonna, uh, you know, Mmm, have that savory melt in your mouth, good piece of fish. Mmm, but this is so good, guys. Mmm, I hate crunch. Mmm. Nice crispy piece of fish, flaky, real tender, tastes great. Mmm, try this. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is some fried fish for you. Uh, give it a try, let me know what you think. Uh, try it on any favorite fish you like, okay? Uh, that's why I just say fried fish, because some of you guys get all twisted on what kind of fish you should eat. Eat what you like, all right? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, if you happen to make this, let me know. I'll see you next time. Paya! But HDTV don't mean that much to me, because I got higher definition in my reality.